Every day it's cocaine, hookers, sports cars, super yachts. In fact, sometimes I just wish I had a normal life like everyone else. Could I, um, can I get a beer, please? Yeah, of course. No. <laughs> can you cut that out? <laughs> My parents will probably watch this. So what do you actually do then? I work in company acquisition. Sort of buying companies, I'm sort of there to oversee things and make, make sure it's profitable, yes. essentially. Well, let's hope you uh, have a good acquisition, as it were, today as well. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully she's a steal, so yeah. fingers crossed. Really? I've been single forever, pretty much. I was still a virgin until I kind of went to university. I'd never kissed a girl. Because, let's face it, women are alien to men. They're a completely different species. I read the book, The Game. It's going to take you from being completely inept when it comes to dating women to you've got a slight chance. Looking for someone who's got strength of character and sort of challenges you. Justin's challenge comes in the form of 23-year-old model booker, Maisie. My standards are quite high. Usually it's sort of model-looking guys. They're fun for the time, but you know it will never go any further. How are you? <laughs> are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. I've been out with, like, quite a lot of really good-looking guys, but there's nothing up there. No, I'll be talking about what's going on in the news, and they're going, hey? Huh? Should I take your jacket? Uh, yeah, please, thank you. As long as their job makes them thrive and they love it and they get up in the morning and they're like, yeah, passionate. That's what I look for in a guy, someone who's passionate. Hi, I'm Justin, Hello. nice to meet you. Hi, amazing, lovely to meet you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Yeah. Oh, have you been here? Well, I've been here half a bit. Yeah, half a bit. <laughs> so where have you come from? Uh, Worthing, West Sussex. Nice. I mean, I still live with my parents, but... Um, Same. <laughs> I mean, my, my dad's a builder and my mum's a nurse. Like, both my sister and I, we both went to private school, so kind of a lot of their money was spent on doing... The education. On the education. Exactly so. the same as mine. That's good. I mean, I am a daddy's girl, but not, like, rah, 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 kind of mm, daddy's girl. Let me doesn't. guess, you, you've got horses. No, no, have I haven't. No, I used to horse ride when I was younger. Do you ride? Yeah, not that sort of riding, but... Um, <laughs> crew joke. Um... <laughs> that took me a second. Um... <laughs> we have a choice of sauces. There's a Bernays, there's a garlic butter, or a red wine jus. This is 24-year-old Echo. The first thing people would ask me is, did you get shot? Do you know what I mean? Black guy in Enfield can't end up in a wheelchair without getting shot. How are you? Hello. Are you you okay? okay? Yeah, I'm not bad, thank Come you. Come through. Being given the wheelchair is a positive. It's given me the ability to get back into sports. Since being diagnosed with MS two years ago, first impressions have taken on a whole new meaning. Are you okay today? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. The one thing I'm most nervous about on a date is how they will view me. I am a guy in a wheelchair. I am not just a wheelchair that magically moves on its own, you know. And you're fit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah? You doing any sports or anything? Oh, yes, I do um, rowing. Rowing? Yes, ah. I'm trying to get to 2020 Paralympics. Oh, for the Olympics? Yeah, I, I'm six foot three, so I'm usually really tall. And even, even now, I'm still not used to the fact that when someone is standing next to me and I'm having a conversation, I have to look up. I don't know, it makes me shy. I've got MS, multiple sclerosis. I was walking really badly before. Walking wasn't walking fun. It was not fun. And the wheelchair is quite fun, especially when you're going down a hill. Like, <laughs> <laughs> best feeling ever. I can't, I cannot lie. I'm going to put it in a corner. Ready to let the good times roll is restaurant manager Deborah. Like, I feel very blessed just to be here. Like, there's so much opportunity that you have just by, like, waking up in the morning, and I don't think a lot of people appreciate that. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? You're good, thank you. I love your hair. Oh, thanks. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> I am a friendly person, but then when it gets to, like, being more of a... like, in a relationship, kind of, it takes a longer time for me to be trusting. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> 
Here we are. Enjoy. I'm Deborah. I'm Echo. Nice Echo. To meet you. Nice yes. to meet you too. Have you looked at the menu? Not even. I mean, worst case scenario, she would be like, oh my God, I didn't know you were in a wheelchair. I think that's the biggest thing that I had to get used to. Okay. Just to let you know, I've got a really bad memory. Okay. So should I write, should I write my name down on my arm or something? Probably. Okay, cool. It's like, Deborah. Deborah. Yeah. Echo. Echo, Echo. yeah. Anyway, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, I had a nightmare this morning. I was walking to the tube station and I was getting more fussled by these builders. And I was like, oh, I must look nice. And then I looked at another guy and his eyes looked like they were about to fall out of his head. And I didn't realize that my entire boob <laughs> had fallen out. <laughs> what, full on nipple? <laughs> no, because I've got nipple plasters on, which makes it even worse. Yeah. Have you ever been in a relationship before? When I was at school, I'd always have a boyfriend. And I think I might have used all my boyfriend tokens up for the um, life. I am a victim of the disappearing act. One guy, literally within a week, I was basically moved into his flat. We were seeing each other for a you, two months, and then he just disappeared off the face of the earth. And he got his housemate to break up with me for him. I went round with a bottle of wine to say thank you to his housemate for having guts, and then he tried it on with me. <laughs> I don't have a lot of faith in men, and I'd really like to find that one guy I connect with who puts that spark of faith back into humanity. How long have you been single? Essentially forever. I've, I've been in relationships, but they're not... They've never been... It's never been, like, a, a, a real thing. Yeah. Um, when I was 16, I was probably maybe like one other kid as, that was as, like, as fat as me in my year. I was very geeky. When I was 15, 16, I was very overweight. I mean, I had inward nipples, I had quite a few rolls. I think even doing my shoelaces, I used to get out of breath. So I think my mum in the morning used to help me do them. The girls wouldn't take the time of day to speak to me. Sort of get looked at as if uh, as if that fatty's speaking to me. I never had any female friends before going to university. I you know my hobbies were very isolate. Like, yes, I had like, online friends, but like doesn't really count when you're playing Xbox. See, my brother's like that still. Every day he's like talking to his friends in America, like killing people. I'm like, please get out of the house. Before I went to university, I thought this is a chance for me to sort of reinvent myself, so to speak. And so I started hitting the gym, started dieting. Do you find it hard to talk to girls? Not now, no. You're much more confident now? Yeah. That's good. I've got a very good book collection that I've built up that I deem to be must-reads for any guy that needs help. Or they just want to know a bit more about dating women and understanding how they're a different species. So many people sort of, they have one or two dates and then because of social pressure, um, the boy they, they feel like they have to sort of a, all of a sudden become an item, but I, I just think sometimes at our age, I don't think that there's... I think people rush into relationships too quickly. Sure. You just have a bit of fun. I just want to have fun. If you're on holiday and you met a guy, you want to be able to be in a position where you've got the freedom, you can just go with it, rather than be like, oh, like, as much as I'd like him to bang me, I can't do it because um, I've got a boyfriend that I don't really like, but sort of, I feel I have to be with him. <laughs> I just wanted to double check, just throughout the allergies, seafood and nuts. Yeah, that's it. No problem, just making Sucks, sure. But it's fine. And we're all good on this side? Yeah, I'm fine. No I'm worries. Fine. I've had allergies since birth, so like my parents have always just been like, no, don't eat it. When I was like one of those bubble wrap kids. I, I know a little bit about that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Why? So I've only been in a wheelchair for two years. Oh, you have a wheelchair? Right behind you. Oh, shoot. All right, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why you're wearing gloves. I was like, oh, is this like your look? Wow. 
why why do you have a wheelchair? I've got MS, multiple sclerosis. Okay, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like what happens? Okay, so basically with MS, imagine your immune system is there being protective and it takes a stroll one day, sees your nervous system and thinks, who the hell are you? Pulse Cold Wars. What energy oh, yeah, you yeah, form, yeah. lad? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, doesn't recognise it. I love the analogy. <laughs> so when I was 14, I woke up and went to get out of bed. My upper body <laughs> went to leave, but my lower body didn't. It kind of just stayed there. I mean, it got better after that, but over the years, it, my walking got gradually worse. So I can I can walk, yeah, yeah, yeah. just not outdoors. And as long as I can hold on to stuff. Yeah. Indoors. Did you drive here? Cab. Ah. Yeah. So do, are you cab life? I'm cab life. I'm literally okay. Uber is my don. <laughs> Sixty-six-year-old Teresa is being escorted by her son for a second shot at finding love. Vanessa. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. And you. Can I have my vodka, a dash of lemonade, and a slice of orange, please? <laughs> I'm here for the night. <laughs> Hello. How are you, Teresa? You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, good. Your usual? Yeah, please. Coming up. Last time round, Teresa's evening yeah. didn't go to plan. Teresa, how did your last date go? So what are we going to do? We're going to party. Are you partying? I'm going to party. I'm not. I'm shattered. It just wasn't my type. Myself was probably a bit too mad uh, for shame. Are you going to see each other again? Uh, I don't think so. Not as a date or nothing. No, God, no. Oh, all right. To be honest with you, we are just two different people. Oh, well, everyone deserves a second shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'd say that if I did meet uh, Mr Wright, it would be a bonus. And it'd be a hell of a wedding, I can tell you. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Rolling in straight from the 60s is free spirit and party lover, Lee. I was a hippie in the summer of love in 1967, and I was at the first legalised pot rally in Hyde Park. What's your name, please? My name is Lee. Other people might think of me as a bit eccentric or a one-off. I get visit a party till 5.15. You were at a party till 5.15? Yeah. Three hours sleep. Are you looking fresh? Full of energy. Yes. Nobody told me I would have so much fun at being 80. Hello. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. And you? I'm Lee. Lee, I'm Teresa. It's my <laughs> sister's name. Oh, then you won't forget it. Yes. yes. <laughs> what you drinking? Vodka. Vodka. Oh, I had quite a lot of vodka last night. Oh, did you have a drink last night? Yes, I was at a big party, yes. Oh, Any excuse, yeah. Are you Irish? I am, yes. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I love the Irish humor. <laughs> I'm glad about that one. <laughs> cheers. Oh, sorry, cheers, Lee. To magic. <laughs> <laughs> Like almondy, like marzipani, sort of, but in with Red Bull. Is it nice? It is so good. I mean, a lot of guys all sort of play the, like the linger game where they they try and be friends with a girl and uh, in the hope that one day they'll see how nice he is. But the reality is, like, have a bit of conviction. I like that. At the end of the day, if we see an attractive girl, um, provided you're into girls, like. If you find her attractive, you're going to want to bang her. That is... <laughs> <laughs> she was lovely. Got blonde hair. She's an attractive girl. Nice personality. By the end of it, we both relax. We're less uptight. We're much more free-flowing. So, yeah, I'd be keen to have a second date just to get to know her better. In, like, the crudest, most simplistic sense, we just need to spread our seed in as many different host sites as possible, reproduce and make sure our genes live on. So, would you say you'd be open to, like, a polygamous relationship, then? I think maybe because he hasn't had a proper relationship before, I don't 
think he knew what he was doing date-wise. Oh, this is quite I'm a rustic, isn't it? Is this um, cheap? I hadn't even noticed, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Maybe the quite phallic. He no. <laughs> was like... <laughs> any guy who meets a girl that they find attractive, they want to bang them. And I'm like, OK, you be that honest. I think they expect you to maybe feed each other with this. Wait, don't feed me. Hello. Hi. How are we? Yeah, good. Good? Good. Uh, right, shall we go? Yep. Would you like to see each other again? Who says it first? Me? I'll say it. Should we try and say it together? Oh, no, that's even worse. No, it'd be, no. It'd be funny. OK. No, I <laughs> can't say it at the same time. Right, you, you go first. I'll say it. All right. No. No. Oh, no, you were yes. Oh. <laughs> I was actually, I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was going to say yes. I find you quite intriguing. Have a nice afternoon. Bye, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I mean, let's face it, you're an attractive girl, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to have sex with you. Oh but, God. um... Thank you. Have a safe journey home. Get the door for you. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I think you think I'm just looking for... I know. Sex with everyone. Sex with everyone. Nice girl. Yeah, she seems like a lovely girl. She still needs to find herself. Um... <laughs> Service, please. Table A, chef. Oui. <laughs> so what made you come on this date? You see, I'm no trouble meeting women, but the trouble is all the women I meet are, are so much younger than me, you see. Oh, well, that won't do you no, no good. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> At my next birthday in August, I'm 80 years old, you see. Whoa. Yes. I can't believe it. But I've always been young for my age, you see. You don't look for one thing, and you definitely don't act. There's some of us who are young at heart. In, in my mid-thirties, uh, I, I met a German tourist girl. We met, and it was a magical meeting. Um, we stayed together till she died eight years ago, so we had 33 wonderful years. She read every single science fiction book at the Stowmarket Library. She was an avid science fiction fan. And she's still in my thoughts all the time because she so inspired me. We found a wonderful love and it grew and it was unshakable. And that was lovely to have. Whatever happens in life that I've had that has made me so happy, whatever happens. Are, are you a Catholic? Yeah, yeah. When I was 18, 19, I became an atheist. I oh, met really? Mandela and I fought against apartheid. Really? Yes. And then I, um, I've been for 44 years interested in Buddhism. The whole idea is to be here now, to live yeah, each Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at the beauty around you. I think it's to erase negativity and bring darkness to life. I like bright colours. Oh, I do, I do too. I think it lifts your mood and all, you know what I mean? Yes. I was very depressed for an awful long time, very, very depressed. <laughs> Going back 10 years, first my brother died, then my mother died, then um, my nephew, who was 21, he died. It just got to me that I had a complete nervous breakdown. Anybody that's depressed, they're in sort of a room full of darkness and they can't see the light. But once that light comes in, you've got to grab it. So to keep that light, you, this is the colour. I know you have good friends and everything, but it's nice to meet someone else. There's a different light coming in, isn't it? Yes. And, and it's nice to do spontaneous things. You're a brave woman, too. Oh, well, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my expression is one love. My yes. gosh. Brilliant. Brilliant. Table D. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Have you 
had any like relationships. So I've only really had one serious relationship. Really? Yeah, yeah. I guess for me, like I was always like the late bloomer in just everything in life. It'd be nice to find someone that would like to share life and have no walls and no barriers, <laughs> just be 100% you. That's basically what I'm looking for. The thing about love is it makes you want to give yourself. Hmm. Once someone uses that against you, like for example, when I ended up in the wheelchair, my girlfriend that turns around to me one day and is like, well, I don't really want you to have my kids. So I said, what, why? Because you've got a mess. And plus, we're disabled now anyway, so we couldn't have sex. What? I was kind of like, well, excuse me, but only my legs don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Like, everything else is fine. Do you know what I mean? It's because of that fact that it kind of puts, makes me be a bit... More hesitant. Yeah. I know what you mean, but I feel like when you're in love, like, it's amazing. I think it's insane. You think love is insane? I do. It's just that it doesn't make sense to me. Like, oh, my gosh. The whole, even, how can you the say whole, this? Well, it's not supposed to make sense, right? What are you it's doing here? And all of that. Like, what are you actually here for, then? I'm actually here yeah. to see if my mind can be changed. If you were to compete in an Olympic event, what would it be? I love the one, you know when they do the... Um... Shot put. Oh, I love that. Oh, do you know... <laughs> I love that. Solid technique. Thank you, I've been practicing. <laughs> I used to do poetry. Really? Yeah. What do you write about? I don't know, I write about anything like family, love, friends. I write poetry. Yeah? Um, okay, show me. Okay. You've got to perform for me right now. Okay. I am a man who seeks different stories told by and of different tongues, different songs sung by different lungs. Like, we definitely made a connection. Like, it was one of those moments where I forgot I have MS and I forgot I'm in a wheelchair. I was just having a conversation with someone. So now you know the story of how I came to be. I want to listen to yours and, of course, not just the whites and the blacks, but all of you in between. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, my gosh, no, it was really good. Did you like it? Yeah. And you don't write anymore. I don't find inspiration as much anymore. You don't have a muse. I need to find my muse again. You, know, you need to find your muse again. He was cute, yeah. Like, he had a nice smile. He was really cool to talk to, like, he was interesting. He seemed like a really cool guy. I liked him. <laughs> How was everything? It was really good. Yeah? It was yeah. good, it. yeah. Company was better. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Charmer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey. Let's forget my hair's, like, up there. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? Good, I'm not bad, you? Good, I'm good. Are you going to see each other again? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Go on, you can, you can uh, say. Well, I'd like to see you again. You cool, know. cool. I'd like to... Well, I... I'm joking, no, I would do. Oh. I would definitely, no, I would definitely see you again. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. Good luck with the uh, training. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I definitely fancy her. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Do you want my jacket? Oh, no worries. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank right. you. <laughs> I feel like if I was to look into your mind, it would just be a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> like, the brain like just, just, just one smiley face there. For the lovely lady, how do you want your steak cooked? Medium rare? Yeah. Perfect. Would you like to follow me? You're looking super swish. Thank you very much. This is ex-dancer Jonathan. At a youthful 56, he's hoping to find love the old-fashioned way. My mother used to say, if you want to get to know somebody, have a meal, sit down and eat with them. I suppose in that respect, I'm a bit old-fashioned. Do you like a drink? Should I yes, get please. You? The wine list. The wine list? Straight away. Thank you. But I do like going out and clubbing and partying. I get some odd looks because you think, well, who's the old fart over there? Boom, boom, boom. Bit of Kylie. So what brings you here today? Hope. Hope, <laughs> really? First of all, you know, I don't want Cosimodo. Does anybody? Um, I would like a handsome-looking guy, you know, a fella. 
hairy. A bloke. Hello. But a gentleman. You're a bit comfy behind there, aren't you? Bless your heart, look. <laughs> Looking to tick all of Jonathan's boxes is 57-year-old flight attendant David. My mum says, there's someone there for you. There's always going to be someone there. You just, it's going to happen when you don't expect it. That's when it's going to happen. And I think, who travels more than me around the world? It's never happened. How are you? Bonsoir, bonsoir. Comment ça va? How are you? Très bien, merci. Je suis from Essex. <laughs> <laughs> it don't work out, does it? <laughs> I'm not just going to put up with someone and be with them for company. I can get a budgie for that. <laughs> Here we are. Your date? Oh, on his phone. Hello. Good evening. Oh, I'm David. Jonathan, nice to meet you. Nice How to meet you. you. Good, thanks. You're right. Enjoy your date, guys. Thank you. So, have you come far? Brighton. Do you work in Brighton? I do, I do work, but I work out of Heto, so I fly for living. So. Oh, OK, so you're um, a trolley dolly. I hate that. Uh, so everybody I know who works on the airlines calls themselves trolley dolly. No, I don't. I think it's no. And you do? I'm a personal trainer. How are you? No. How old are you now, if I'm asking? 56. Oh, OK. So, well, I just turned 57 two weeks ago, so... Okay, there you go. I want someone with a young spirit, because inside I still think I'm, like, 25, 26. But I know I'm not, but sometimes I act like that. What can, I can't... You know, guilty. Have you looked at the menu? You were here before me. I'm going for the asparagus and the lamb. See, I've just had a gout thing. Asparagus is terrible for gout. Cauliflower, mushrooms. Cauliflower soup. Can't have that asparagus. Mm. <laughs> so how long have you had gout for? Oh, I inherited it from my dad, gout and baldness. But my brother's got hair like you, a full head of hair. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Yes, cheers. Good health. Are we OK for drinks? Would you like another one? Are we having another one, then? No, oh, I don't know if I shall. I'll get a bit drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Irish, and he likes the Irish. <laughs> well, I might have a little whiskey in the evening. I know, but you're a devil. <laughs> <laughs> so I've literally got the best table at the moment. She's a proper party head. And he's literally just come in, partying till five in the morning. Just I love this Richard guy. Like. Oh, we're like that. Awesome. We're 70. I can honestly say I really enjoyed my night tonight. I didn't know what, what I'd expect, but I'm, no. I'm, I'm, it's utter pleasure and lovely to meet you. I think uh, she might well have found me attractive, so I, uh, I hope so, let's say. And you've got beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we are. Right, Lee, mm. you ready? Mm. Would you like to see each other again? Let, uh, let Teresa. No, you answer. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm definitely like to yes. see Teresa again. So would I. And go, go, we go out, even if it's just to the pub. Or, or to of see it. Of has to be a book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. He knows so much about life, but he doesn't criticise anything about life or the people he's met. He's a man with a heart of gold. All right, Lee? Yeah, oh, I love your colour. Oh, do you? Think pink. Kiss of the cheek, yes. Thank you, Lee. One love to you, and I'll be a gentleman. Yeah. Thank you, babe. Oh, it's nice to be travelling in a nice warm taxi. <laughs> this is 23 year old Cheltenham girl Jessica. She's been single for three years, but she knows exactly what she wants. How are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'd rather have a glass of Prosecco over a vodka Red Bull any day. 
Do you know at the end of a long working week and you put that little glass to your mouth and you feel that sip and it's so cold and tingly and then the fizz fills you? Ah, oh, it's just perfect. Can I have a glass of Prosecco? Cool, coming Thank up. You. Yeah, I've got a real thing for Prosecco, so... <laughs> Thank you. That'd be lovely. I am, like, the funny friend that never seemed to get, like, attention. You know Tinder? Yeah. If you swipe someone on Tinder, this is what they say. Do you want a piece of my aubergine emoji and then a water thing? A, I don't like aubergine. And secondly, I'm scared of storms, so I am saying no. <laughs> I think you guys think, oh, no, she's a bit too much to handle. But I think that's sad because that's, like, one side of me, but it's not all of me. So tell me a little more about the man you're looking to meet, then. Just up for a laugh. That's my main thing, up for a laugh and, like, not too serious. How you doing? Ow! <laughs> this is 26-year-old roofer Jake. The only thing he's serious about is having fun. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Yeah, good. Jake. Jake. Of course I'm going to dance on a roof. I'm not going to not dance on a roof. <laughs> we actually come through? Yes. Yeah, any moment. I, I think I dance most of the day more than I work. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Hello, how are you doing? You okay? Yeah, you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jake. Thanks you good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What have you got to drink? You. What are you drinking? Sacco. Okay. We got one. Me and you get one, yeah. Yeah. The same, yeah. So yeah. Cool. Bottle, please, yeah. Would you like to split a bottle? Exactly. I think we should oh, get a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really bad? I don't know if that's bad. Yeah, that's okay. fine. You look very nice, by the way. Oh, well. thank you. So do you. Thank you very much. <laughs> like a nice curvy figure, a nice smile, but yeah, booze and bum and muscle. Love a great ass, love a great ass. Um, <laughs> you work out a lot, you're quite muscly. I do, yeah. Um, yeah, what do you do? Uh, roofing. I'd love that. Well, I wouldn't be very good at roofing, but I'd love the tan. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely like someone that can be on my sort of wavelength. Just have a laugh and want to do exciting stuff. So what would be your typical sort of, like, night out? I like, get ready with the girls, have a few drinks at home, and maybe stay in a hotel and stuff, just go for it. What about a bit of karaoke? Do you like karaoke? Yeah, I love it. Do you? Oh, I swear to God. I mean, good. Your Sorry. Your ready. OK, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. That's you. Thank you. Are you actually a good singer, then? Uh, you can find out. Brilliant, OK, but... fine. <laughs> Why have you got, John, why have you got two pairs of glasses? OK, these are for long distance, these are for short distance. Am I better looking with that on or that okay. on? Do you want me to tell you now? Yeah. You're clearer and better looking with these on. Keep them on. Okay. Ditch them. <laughs> how long have you been single? What would you think? You look how stunning I am. I know, you're gorgeous. And tell me. Four years? <laughs> Add 20. You're joking. Oh, so I've been single now for 24 years, since uh, September 12th, 1992, at 10 past eight in the evening. That's when, that's when my world uh, fell apart. So, what's happened? I've had two loves in my life. It just happened to be around that time of the late 80s when he had a disease that was prevalent then. So I nursed him and I washed him and fed him and things like that. But sadly, he passed away. I've never met anyone that would tick all the boxes for me to settle down with someone. There's some people who touch your soul. I'm just enough of waking up on my own all the time with no one just to cuddle or make them some. I'm a brilliant cook. I'm a great cook, I'm a good person. And yet nothing, nothing. I've got my torch on in the darkness, looking for the light. Let's face it, we're, we're on our last third of our life. I don't feel, I don't, I keep, you know, I know I'm 56, but I still feel 25 inside. I know we all think we're 32, but we're not. No, I'm 25. <laughs> I'll turn it off. There we go. Even they're looking. Look. <laughs> Get 
better life. <laughs> That's a big kill off. I think a phone at the table is rude, period. As much as we might not like it, we can't reject it because it is the world that we live in now. And Jonathan, you chose not to switch that off for our date. Yeah. Phone on table one, check no. <laughs> Loud setting, check two, <laughs> no. Two little hinters for you guys. Two little, two little, two little, little tips. Two little <laughs> tips there. When I'm drunk, I rap. Do you? Yeah, at the Christmas work party. For some reason, I wrapped away in a manger. Do it. <laughs> no. Don't give me any challenges. All right, well, your first challenge is a little bit of rapping. But if I do a challenge, you've got oh, to do right. something. All right, I'll do with a bit of Whitney Houston. This is going to be funny. I need to just prepare myself. I want to dance with somebody. Is that all right? <laughs> there you go. Oh, I can't believe it. That what was you reckon? hilarious. <laughs> Where are you Ready? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. A wait in a no crib for a bed, the little boy Jesus ate down a sweet head. <laughs> There's more. That is more. Yeah, go on. The cat was low and the baby awake, so little boy Jesus no crying he makes. Yeah. I want to do it. Check I wanna, you out, girl. <laughs> Has that worked for you? Is that an arthritis? Is that arthritis? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I've got an arthritis bracelet. Have you? Let's see it. No, I haven't worn it tonight. Why haven't you worn it? Because... You'll be aching tonight. tomorrow. <laughs> Is that tequila? Oh, oh fuck. Hey, challenge number three, girl. Where's the salt? Oh, here. Do pepper instead. No, you yeah, go I'll do pepper. Come on, then. <laughs> we are so mental. You have to put it on my hand. <laughs> Jesus, what? Right, let's go, girl. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> are you OK? <laughs> oh. 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 The pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Nice figure. She had great boobs, I have to be honest. I had a little look once or twice, too obvious. Are you guys splitting the bill? She won't let me. Well, gentlemen. We literally got on so well, and it was really lovely to actually just sit down, have dinner with someone, but didn't if you fancied fancy me. It'd be great if you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see this. Woo. There we go. Thank you, my friend. She's trying to teach me to join. Will you? <laughs> So, are you going to see each other again? Are we? No, you can't, it's that fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we going to see each other? Yes, I would like to. Hope she does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Good, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank and you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Have a good night. Bye-bye. With my kiss. <laughs> Do you fancy each other? Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she looks good. Cool, I was at the bar and I saw him come in and I thought he was fat, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, you look very pretty yourself. Thank you. I said about the dress, good colour. Oh, thanks. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Did you enjoy the meal? Yeah, did you? Good. Nice yeah, it was nice. Good guess. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <There you> <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the nearest karaoke bar, my friend. Yeah. Bit of boogie and a bit of singing, please. Top man. Be lovely. Where are you sitting? I don't mind. I'm going to sit on the sofa. Oh. I would offer you, but you're going to be sick. <laughs> It was a long time ago, Jonathan. Would you like to try some? No, thanks, babe. Not at all. With the pain of my body, the arthritis, I just don't want to think, oh, I'm inhaling a cigarette. Because I'm riddled with it here, all round here and here. I've got this, an operation coming up with my ankle. 
where it will be pinned like that. So when I walk, you know, like we walk like that, I will be walking like that. Always flat. No, yeah, flat. That's it. So is that, does that look weird? Yes, it does. <laughs> You're not selling yourself very well, are you, here? I'm riddled with arthritis and I'm going to have a gangly walk afterwards. Would you like to see each other again? I'll let Jonathan go. Uh, romantically, no. As friends, yes. What's the Tommy. No, please don't. I've had a really nice evening. Oh, Jonathan, And it's my please. treat. Here, have a sweet. Absolutely the same. You can eat the tip. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to say I liked your honesty. I liked mm. your honesty the way you were about mm. yourself. <laughs> yeah. what, what didn't you like? What didn't I? There's yeah. nothing I didn't like. Oh, I didn't oh. like. Oh, yeah. I didn't like. Okay. I didn't like the phone on the table. I didn't like the okay, keys that, on that, the table. Right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You very Take much. care. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. My advice to you: don't talk about your ailments. What ailments? About my ankle. Arthritis. Yeah. Gout, operation, you're going to be able to be walking like that because there's everything else. It's, it's not really sort of conducive to you know, meeting someone the first time. Thank you for a lovely evening. No, thank you. It's been fun. Absolutely. It's certainly been different. <laughs> <laughs> well, very well dressed and a good looking guy. I enjoy the conversation. Um, okay. It's happened again. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> oh. I'll phone you back in five minutes. <laughs> Leave the room. OK. I swear to God. <laughs> as if by magic. There we go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>